Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do something sweet and lovely, just like me. I'm going to make Keith the Caterpillar cake. Mmm. What's brought this on then, Keith -y? Well, in last week's Great British Bake Off, one of the challenges was to make a caterpillar cake. They were very careful not to say a Colin the Caterpillar cake, because that's a trademark of Marks and Spencer, who invented the whole caboodle about 30 years ago. And in the intervening years, all the major supermarket chains have come out with their own version. Controversially, two years ago, when Aldi decided to bring out their own version called Cuthbert the Caterpillar, uh, M&S decided to sue them. I don't know why they didn't sue the others, but, you know, maybe they just hate Aldi. Anyway, it got settled before hitting the court, so we don't know what the actual agreement was. But a year later, in Aldi's Christmas ad, you can just spot <laughs> free Cuthbert. Cuthbert in chains being dragged off to prison. <laughs> well, that tickled me, that did. Anyway, key for the caterpillar cake should be good fun. Let's do it. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. Okay? Keep the caterpillar cake coming up. Basically, a caterpillar cake is a chocolate Swiss roll, or chocolate roulade, as posh people would call it. And if you were a proper lazy person, you could actually buy one, but I'm not, so I'm going to make my own. So I need 125 grams of caster sugar. That's the one between the very fine confectioner's sugar and your ordinary granulated. And five medium eggs. Stick those into a bowl and Put them on your wonderful stand mixer, link below. Yes, this is product placement. This is my Housework stand mixer, which I do like quite a lot. Use the whisk attachment and give it two or three minutes. And in another bowl, just weigh out 80 grams of plain all-purpose flour. And 50 grams of cocoa powder. Now we fold in the flour and the cocoa. Gently mix that until it's all the same colour. There's, there's no streaks of like white flour or anything. Okay, I think that'll do. Now we want a Swiss roll tray. Even though it's almost brand new and non-stick, I'm still going to line it with greaseproof paper because I'm like that. So little dabs of butter in the corners and that'll help the paper stick. And then pour the mixture in. Spread it round with a palette knife, make sure it reaches right into the corners. Now you want your oven heated to 200 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven or air fryer oven. And that's 220 for a conventional one and that is gas 7. And I just realised this Swiss roll tray is too big to go in the uh, air fryer oven. So I have to use the, the main conventional one, which I've <laughs> almost forgotten how to use it. I've not used it. Well, since I got that, really. Maybe once or twice. Anyway, in we go for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes is up, let's see how it's doing. Yeah, shrunk away from that corner. Okay, let's get a pokey thing. Oh yeah, quite firm, I think that'll do. Right, now we want another sheet of greaseproof paper. Oh, just a little bit bigger than the tray. And we'll sprinkle some caster sugar over the sponge. And try to get it out. Should be easy. Okie dokie. Well, lovely. Now you want to score a line two and a half centimetres from 
one edge, one inch. Okay, now I'm going to wrap it in a clean tea towel, set that aside, let it cool down. Now I'm going to make some buttercream filling. So I've got 100 grams of softened butter, so it's soft but not melted, and 200 grams of icing sugar, very fine sugar, a little splash of vanilla essence, and a tablespoon or two of double cream, heavy cream. So. <laughs> I can't be bothered washing all the um, mixer stuff, so I'm going to try and do this by hand. Just to show that it can be done. Okay, that's about the best I can do. So, now I'm going to mix in the sugar. That's uh, about as smooth as I can get it, so I'll add the vanilla essence. And a bit of cream and mix those in. Oh, I could just stand here and eat that all day long. But I won't because I've got to put it in the Swiss roll. Alright, let's unroll the roll. And spread the buttercream on it. Okay, you know how I sometimes make mistakes. I always show you because uh, it's interesting and fun and we learn from our mistakes. But uh, this morning I made a catastrophic one that I've never actually done before. Because um, when I finished shooting yesterday, I took the chips out of both my cameras and I put them on here um, with the intention of taking them upstairs and copying them copying the files onto the computer for editing. Um, but for whatever reason, I didn't do that last night. So when I came down this morning, I thought, ah, okay, there's the chips. I'll put them in the cameras and I'll format them and then they'll be all ready to go. Yeah, and they were, but that was all of yesterday's shooting that just went straight in the bin. <sighs> I was not a happy bunny. And I just really haven't got time to reshoot that bit. So what you missed was unrolling the sponge, spreading it generously with buttercream right to the edge. Um, and you cut off a couple of centimetres, about an inch from the bottom edge and cut those into strips. And then you can lay them over the roll, cut those strips in half and they, they should fit nicely as semicircles along the body of the caterpillar, like to give it ridges, and you stick them on with ganache. And before you do that, you will have made some chocolate ganache simply by heating 250 ml of double heavy cream until it's nearly boiling. And then you take 250 grams of dark chocolate, smash that into little bits and put it in the hot cream and stir and stir and stir until the chocolate is all melted and you've got a lovely, smooth, gooey mmm. So when you glue the ridges on with ganache, wrap it tightly in foil or in, or in the tea towel or something and put it in the fridge to set for about half an hour and take it out and then you can coat the whole thing in ganache. And that's what you missed, okay? Okay, there's the, the body of Kifi Caterpillar. Now I'm going to make the face. I've got this, uh, this jar lid that's pretty much the same size, so I can use that as a guide. Uh, I've got some fondant icing, this is white, and I've got some pink food colouring. So I need to get a bit of that and a few drops of that and massage them together till I get a nice smooth pink paste. This is quite solid. Actually, it's not too bad. <laughs> a few drops. <laughs> you know those latex gloves I was talking about a few videos ago? Still haven't got any. <laughs> so I'll just keep massaging that till we've got a nice smooth colour without any streaks and splots. Splots and blobs. You know what I mean. 
there is my pink icing, a pink fondant. It's gone a bit sticky, so you can use a bit of icing sugar on the table to uh, to stop it sticking. <laughs> it looks really tiny. Cut around that, but make it a little bit wider than, than it is tall. It's an ellipse rather than a, a circle. Okay, that's about the right size. Yeah, so, uh, so I'm going to start sculpting it. I'll just stick my eyes in place, my eyes. I'll make antenna stroke eyebrows and a blob nose and the, the moustache and the little beard thing. Water. Uh, I need a bit of white icing to do the, the facial hair and that. So there's the moustache and now uh, I'll just do a little, I think they call it a landing strip. There we go. Now I need this to dry uh, so you know so it's hard and holds its shape. So I'm going to stick it in the air fryer oven on the warm setting which is 60 degrees Celsius. Now for some unknown reason caterpillar cakes have feet <laughs> and, and they're usually just you know just blobs of I don't even know what they are because uh, do you know what I've never actually had one. I've never had a Colin the Caterpillar cake because they're too expensive. But um, anyway, I'm going I'm to make feet with um, toes, three toes, cartoon style. A bit of water to make it stick and slap it on and taper it into the ganache. Oh yeah. Right, I've got to finish this off now because Mrs. Keith Cooks is hovering and she wants <laughs> she wants some cake because uh, apparently it's a birthday. So I've got some leftover ganache to use as glue. Caterpillar face and yeah, oh goodness me, it's way too big and I broke my beard off. This is the kind of thing that people want for their birthday. In it, and somebody brings sixty-six candles. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Oh, it's adorable. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to me. you. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Mrs. Keith Cooks. <laughs> Happy birthday to you and many more. Now can I have some cake? Mm. <laughs> I, I take its photo. I'll come back in a minute. And now, it's her again. Can I have some cake now? Yeah. <laughs> of course you can. Look at the candle. Yeah, blow the candle out. Oh. What candle? The, didn't you have a candle? <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> It was a birthday present. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <gasps> okay. <sighs> right. <laughs> oh, look, you can cut it because it's your birthday. Yeah, I'm going to take the sting out this time. They don't have stings, do they? Have what? They don't have stings. Caterpillars. Whoa. <laughs> How much would you like? Uh, yeah, that. No, well, just the other side of the Smarties. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to chop his toes off. No. It's squidgy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good. Mm-hmm. 
Mmm. That's seriously chocolatey. So, mm. who Ooh. is this? Mm? Kevin? Keithy? Keithy. Conrad? Keith. Oh. Keithy the caterpillar. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> anyway, you taste great, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Got me smarty. Mm. Well, that buttercream is delish. Isn't it? Mm -mm. Mmm. Okay, we win. That's better than any, anything anybody did on the Bake Off, innit? That's not fair. <laughs> okay. It was a hot day. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing about today. <laughs> Haven't been hot. <laughs> Hasn't been hot, no. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you next time.